the conditional operator is a ternary operator that evaluates with three entities. One condition and two possible results. It is a combination of two operators. A question mark and the colon that is used to decide on a given condition. The syntax is condition, question mark, result 1, colon, result 2. It means that if the condition is true, then result 1 is executed, else result 2 is executed. For an expression 4 less than 5, question mark, 1 colon 0, it simply means, is 4 less than 5? If so, return 1, else return 0. If you see out this example expression, it prints 1. Now another example. 9 equals equals 5 plus 2, question mark, 10 colon 100. Is 9 equal to 5 plus 2? If so, return 10, else return 100. If you see out this expression, it prints 100. Let's now write program 8. Print the biggest among two numbers, using conditional or ternary operator. Here is the program code. I have saved it as 8.cpp. On line 4, we declare three integer variables. A, B, and C. Physically, this creates memory storage locations for A, B, and C. Line 6, 7, 8, and 9 do the input-output operations. Note that I haven't used the statement using namespace std, and so, I use the cout statement along with the std scope resolution operator. On the output screen, we are prompted, enter first number. I enter 9. The C in A stores 9 into the memory location A. We are then prompted, enter second number. I enter 123. C in B stores 123 into B. On line number 11, we have the ternary operator which states, if A is greater than B, then return A to C else return b to c. Since a has value 9 and b has 123, a is not greater than b. Hence value of b is returned to c. On line 13 is the statement to print the biggest number onto the screen. We have it on the output screen. The comma operator. Comma is a binary operator that joins two or more expressions in a sequence. Note that we had seen how comma has been used as a separator in the declaration int a, comma b. Next, let's look at this example. j equals k equals 3, comma, k plus equals 2. Here, 3 is first assigned to k. Next, the value of k is increment by 2. So now, k becomes 5. l value j is assigned with the computed r value of k. Finally, j is 5, and k is also 5. Let's see how the comma operator works in our next program. Using comma operator, assign b equals 5, then use compound assignment to multiply b by 4. Next, assign b to a, print values of a and b. Again assign b equals 5, then compute b asterisk 4, then c equals 12 and finally assign the sequence of operations to a, print values of a, b, c. Don't worry. It's not so complicated. Let's visualize how our program works. Here is the program code. I save it as 9.cpp. On line 4, I have declared three integer variables, a, b, and c. So here are the physical storage locations, a, b, and c. On line 5, we have a, equal to, b, equals 5, b, asterisk equals 4. It first stores 5, to the memory storage location named, b, look at the memory storage panel. Then b, is multiplied by 4, and the result 20, is stored, in b, remember that, on line number 5 of program, result of entire computation on RHS, has to be stored in the memory location, which is specified on the LHS. So here, 20, is stored in A. On the next line, is the C out statement, which first prints the value of A, and then, using backslash n character, it prints value of B, onto the next line. 
we next have line 7 with another similar statement. A equal to B equals 5. Then B asterisk 4 and C equals 12. So first, 5 is assigned to memory variable B. Then, 5 multiplied by 4 is computed, and the result 20 just floats around as it's not stated to be stored anywhere. Next, C is assigned value 12. The result entire computation on the RHS is then assigned to A on the LHS. But wait. RHS has value 5 and B. There is 20, a floating value. And there is 12 in C. Which value would be assigned to A? It's the last executed part, and that is, C equals 12. So 12 will be assigned to A. Next, you just have to print the values of A on next line, B, and on next line, C.